Hey, welcome. It's week six. You made it halfway through. So just uh, we, we haven't done any in-class meetings. I just want to let you guys know that just finished grading, got you some feedback on your assignment so far. Hopefully you those make sense. And as we move forward, remember, we kind of build on what happened in the past. Uh, and that's very true of this week, but I do want to give a, a, a slight review and maybe a couple of tips because some things maybe didn't get across so well. But always remember, if you're at all confused, you can set up time to talk with me. Uh, I talked to a couple students already this week, so I, I love doing that just to clarify anything that I can. I just know people's schedules are busy, so um, let me know if that could be helpful to you. Um, so a uh, quick one as we got into this, I also played... an. You know, I keep playing tricks on you to hopefully get you to realize there's some some interesting things about this world of information architecture. I don't know if anyone watched the diner thing, but it's a very jerky guy talking about how he organizes his records and uh, vinyl records and how other people don't understand it. And that, that's kind of a theme of this week of we're trying to find words that most people understand because we don't want to invent a whole new language to describe our content so for example in the past some people have done things like beer if you didn't know there's a lot of different styles of beer but you don't want to make up a style of beer pretty much you don't now you can also describe things in in unique ways so there's a thing about wine here describing it by its predominance of different kinds of flavors. So there is a, a little bit of work that you could have done uh, this week to give some more kind of nouns to your database. And many of you are, by the way, still lacking enough data. I, I kind of am being a little loose because I want you to feel like this is a, um, you know, it's a constant uh, iteration, you know? So the more you do something, I'd give you some feedback. But if you're not, if you don't have enough data to really describe your topic, you know, really make sure that you find some data because as we're going to get into this week this is where people start to get involved so at this point you've made it up the pyramid this is information and why is it information because most of your content will be read by a computer and not a person if it isn't read by a computer then you know it's kind of a different topic but computers are used to categorize and do uh, SEO, etc. And I wanted to give you that feeling like this is a really powerful thing you can do is to put certain words into your HTML. These words, uh, especially if they're unique words, will drive SEO. That's really all there is to it. It's looking for a computer to make a decision about one thing versus the other. So if you both have the same word, it's going to have to use some other means to rate one above the other. And, and believe me, this ranking and competition for people's eyeballs is real. In fact, it's almost an entire industry to work on SEO. But an information architect should and can understand how this works. I hope you guys uh, are feeling that there's a lot of power in this role. Uh, I'm just going to do quickly, hopefully... Uh, Ricky doesn't mind sharing the markup because when you actually got your table, uh, many of you had these words. You see these words here? The reason why you're pretending to use these words to mark up is not only to help me remember what your data looks like, which is very important because I can't go cross-reference all the time, but this is also, why can't you just use these words? See, they're really specific, right? but they are made up and they are not consistent. That's why we're using this as sort of a gateway into a controlled vocabulary, HTML, you know, is used by everyone. And if you use it creatively, I'm just gonna go back to this example, right? If you're using more creative and more meaningful terms to mark up your content, you will win SEO. Also, not only win SEO, you're also going to win another thing, which is called ADA or uh, people with disabilities who don't view sites the way we do. Those hierarchies using navigation, headers, footers, details, all that stuff is perfect. You can make your entire career out of helping companies use these tags effectively. But we only have so many weeks and each week seems like its own career, right? Uh, and that's gonna be absolutely true. But now taxonomies, what are the words that people have already invented to describe your content? Was the research you needed to do and definitely the thing I'm looking for that you've understood if there are 
I'm just going to say it. I said it many times here. Is there five of them? Is there 50 of them? Is there 500 of them? That's going to be really important as we get into this week. How, uh, if you're talking about um, music genres, I can say, yeah, there might be 10, five major music genres, but nobody uses them because they're not that effective. They have subgenres and sub subgenres apparently. So that was the work of this week. If you didn't feel like you really spent enough time, that's fine. You can make up for it this week, but that's usually the, how this works. Um, you know, you'd still get time to iterate. I, I don't want everything to be like, hey, you, you, we're moving on and you, you can't rethink things. That's not the way this class works. So what is interesting this week is we're going to talk about something specific to people. So all the fat past five weeks is we're almost solely concentrated on how computers understand and create information. Uh, and, and how we, we do it. Now we're gonna actually say, well, how as a person do I get around navigation? So that's where the exercises go in here. I do need to add my video for verbs. So I'll add that up here. I just realized I gotta put that in. Uh, but we're talking about what are the places you can put stuff and what are the huge limitations? This is where you really do run out of room pretty quick. So how many you have is important and we're going to create a sitemap which is sometimes the very first thing an information architect does now make sure um, as i said read the, the the module if you like reading watch the video if you like watching videos but participate early because right now you're going to be manipulating your data at a different level and that's why now noun, nouns describe the thing itself where verbs are how do you get around things uh, but that is, again, almost its own career of how to manage um, these sort of uh, words and how, how do you uh, maybe use a little more creativity, by the way. This is also a more creative week, a little bit about placement and wording than it was last week where you wanted to make sure you followed the rules that have been set out. Happy um, week six. Enjoy.